Can SC and LC single fiber optical modules be used together? Now let's test it. We insert the 1GTX1310 nanometer RX1550 nanometer optical module with LC connector into switch A. And insert the 1GTX1550 nanometer RX1310 nanometer optical module with LC connector into switch B. Then use LC fiber cable to connect them. You can see that the indicator light is on. Then use two SC connector optical modules with the same wavelength. Connect them with SC fiber cable and you can see that the indicator light is on. Then plug in the console line to check the interface status and packet loss rate. You can see that these four modules are in normal connection status. Next, we insert the 1GTX1310 nanometer RX1550 nanometer optical module with LC connector into switch A. And the 1GTX1550 nanometer RX1310 nanometer optical module with SC connector into switch B. Then use LCSC fiber cable to connect them and you can see that the indicator light is on, and then plug in the console line to check the interface status and packet loss rate. We can see that the interface status is up and the packet loss rate is 0%, indicating that the single fiber modules of the SC connector and the LC connector can be used together. However, it is crucial to note that the wavelengths of single fiber modules must be paired correctly, meaning the transmit wavelength of one end must match the receive wavelength of the other end. For example, if the A end has a transmit wavelength of TX1310 nanometer RX1550 nanometer, then the B end must be configured as TX1550 nanometer RX1310 nanometer. Additionally, the data rate and transmission distance must be consistent to ensure correct data transmission and reception. Finally, if this video is helpful to you, please click the like button and subscribe to our QSFP Tech channel for more videos.